As much as Hollywood is an industry that manages to employ people across unions and creates content that is enjoyable by people of all age groups, it is also an industry that really rakes in the moolah year on year. Moreover, now we also look at films and how much they've earned and not just how great they were or their review scores. So here's taking a look at the top 10 box office earners from 2019. Starting at number 10, it's Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. The Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham spin-off managed to make it to the list thanks to the huge following for the franchise. The film opened in August 2019 and managed to earn $173.8 million at the box office domestically. However, Hobbs and Shaw had a great run overseas and managed to cross the $600 million mark internationally after a debut in China, putting it at number 8 on the global box office. At number 9, we've got the Jordan Peele horror film Us. The film opened in theaters in March and not only broke the record Seth MacFarlane's TED set for the highest R-rated opener, but also beat John Krasinski A Quiet Place to nab the spot for the highest opening for an R-rated horror film. Us didn't make a lot of money globally, but at the domestic box office, the Lupita Nyong'o star earned $175 million. We have another horror film at the number 8 spot and it's IT Chapter 2. The film, which took on from the first IT movie in 2017, managed to become one of Warner Brothers' biggest hits of the year. Opening in September, IT Chapter 2 earned $211.4 million domestically and managed to match that number internationally too with an earning of $255 million. At number 7 is a critical and commercial hit. The Joaquin Phoenix-led Joker managed to captivate audiences globally and also became the biggest hit from Warner Brothers in 2019. The film opened in October and broke a number of records, earning $323.3 million domestically. It beat Venom's score to become the highest opener for an R-rated film in the month of October and it also beat Deadpool to become the highest earning R-rated film of all time. What's more, Joker isn't just the highest earning R-rated film of 2019, but its international collections were over double its domestic gross. Joker earned $696 million internationally. At number 6 is a surprise in the form of Disney's Aladdin. The film wasn't well received critically, but the Will Smith live-action version managed to earn $355.5 million at the domestic box office. The film opened in May and might just be Disney's lowest earning box office blockbuster of the year. However, Aladdin performed well overseas too, earning $695.1 million. The superhero films did extremely well in 2019 and that's why at number 5 we have Spider-Man Far From Home. This July release is the only top 10 box office hit Sony had this year and the film made $390.5 million in its theatre run. The Tom Holland film also beat the Andrew Garfield star The Amazing Spider-Man's record for the highest opening collection of a Tuesday release. Far From Home is also the number 3 film on the worldwide box office, with an international gross of $741.3 million. Will the next installment one-up these numbers? Another superhero film is at number 4 and it's Captain Marvel. The film opened in March and earned a staggering domestic gross of $426.8 million. The Brie Larson film beat Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman Hollow by notching the highest opening collection for a female-led film made by a female director. However, Captain Marvel did earn less than Spider-Man Far From Home internationally, making a modest $701.4 million. The film at number 3 just goes to show that G-rated films can also make the big bucks. And it's none other than Toy Story 4. 
Opening in June, the film managed to earn $433.9 million domestically, beating Toy Story 3's domestic opening record. What's more, Woody and Buzz managed to edge out Incredibles 2 globally and beat their overseas earning record by earning $639.3 million in their theatrical run. No surprises that Toy Story 4 is also the highest earning G-rated film of 2019. Live action or animated controversy aside, The Lion King from Disney sure turned the numbers that were expected of them. Coming in at number 2 with domestic earnings of $543.5 million with a July opening, here are all the records it broke. The opening day gross broke Incredibles 2's record for the highest opening day gross for an animated film. It also beat Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 to become the highest weekend debut in the month of July. The Lion King became the highest earning PG film of 2019 and of all time beating Incredibles 2 again and also beat the live action Beauty and the Beast record for the highest weekend debut for a musical. And they're not done yet, The Lion King was also the second highest earning film worldwide making a whopping $1.1 billion in its theatrical run. And there's no prizes for guessing who took the number one spot globally and domestically for 2019 and possibly for all time. And it's the Russo Brothers extravaganza Avengers Endgame. The film opened in April and to a massive global fan base. Domestically, Avengers Endgame earned $858.3 million during its theatre run. The Thursday night premiere of the film managed to break the record set by Star Wars The Force Awakens. The opening day gross also beat the record that The Force Awakens has set and it made the most money for any film on an opening day for all time. It also broke Avengers Infinity Wars record for the highest weekend debut in April, highest superhero film earnings, 3D films, PG-13 films and others. Endgame also became the first film to make $300 million in a singular opening weekend. What's more, Endgame also made the record for the fastest film to hit a billion dollars in earnings worldwide. Endgame made that record in 5 days while Infinity War did it in 11 days. Unsurprisingly, Endgame earned more than double its domestic gross with its overseas earnings. The film made $1.9 billion. So, do you think superhero movies will dominate the box office in 2022? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out all our other content too and don't forget to subscribe.